no longer teach children that uh, Hawaiian children that the plants are um, body forms of the gods. And so each time I asked uh, the elders, um, the response was the same. The drama with each was different. But um, it is because we became Christianized and any discussion of um, any plant symbolizing a god was unchristian. We were savages. We were idolaters. We were awful people. We had no respect for uh, their god. We didn't know their god. But we, had, um, we were told this was not right. But I think it was such an important concept to teach Hawaiians that when you ate the foods that represented the gods, you took into your body every day at every meal some of the goodness of the gods. And Kikuni Blazel is so cute and so, so individualistic. So he says, so we ate our gods and we came strong like our gods. We became very godly and godlike. And you know, everybody's reaction, of course, to Kikuni is always different, but one group in particular were my peers, and um, some of the reaction was very unkind, and it was not verbalized, but it was obvious. And so when I got up to speak to that same group, I said, I love it when Kikuni speaks first because he can say these things and I can see the reaction and I saw the reactions on your faces. And let me tell you, I'm a Christian and when I go to take communion, the minister comes up first with his platter of uh, wafers and he says, what? What does he say to you, you that go to communion? Take and eat. It is the what? It is the body of Christ. Take and eat it. And I said, then he passes a chalice of wine and he says to you, here, take and drink it. It is the blood of Christ. Oh, savage, savagery. We're taking and eating you know, symbols of God's uh, body? No. Makes sense. That's the same thing Hawaiians did. Only they had a different array of gods that took care of them. And so it's not anti-Christian per se, because the Christians do the same thing. But it is important for us to realize it's hard for us today. It's the same thing with education. It's hard for us today because where do our foods come from? We don't pick anything. It's already picked for us. We don't water the plant that you have to pick the food from, which our ancestors did. They had to care for the plant that brought the food, that fed the family. Today we go to the store and we buy this stuff and we pick amongst it. We get the best one. We break off the junk one. Yeah? We buy the food and we come home and we feed our family. In the old days, you raised your own and the bad food had to be, you know, the ugly plant had to be eaten along with the good parts. I mean, being ugly is not always bad. Yeah, it doesn't mean it's bad. 